Big topic during this year's legislative session is balancing the state budget. As Congress goes back and forth on a new stimulus bill, local lawmakers are asking the federal government to help Nevada with its finances. 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey is live right now at the Grant Sawyer Building with state leaders' calls for help. Sean? Yeah, David and Kalina, the coronavirus crippled Nevada's economy last year and continues to batter it today. Until this pandemic is over, state lawmakers say that we need help to continue funding critical programs right here in Nevada. In announcing his budget for the next biennium, Governor Steve Sisolak did not include any federal aid that hadn't already been promised, leaving the state $500 million short of the last legislative budget. Leaders in Carson City are hoping that the Biden administration comes to the rescue. Even if it's one time purposes, uh, we need it. We need it bad. And, and, and I think that we've been responsible with what we've had. Assembly Speaker Jason Frierson says state law requires the budget is balanced at the end of the legislative session. So without aid, cuts would be inevitable as Nevada's economy continues to slump. Senate Majority Leader Nicole Canizero says that those cuts would threaten health care, government services, and education. I definitely am very excited with the Biden administration and their commitment um, to ensuring that those conversations continue so that we can keep states moving forward as we start to recover from this, what is, you know, hopefully a once in a lifetime uh, pandemic. On the Republican side of the aisle, minority leaders Senator James Settlemyer and Assemblywoman Robin Titus hope to receive federal funds as well, but emphasized fiscal responsibility if Congress pulls through and cuts us a check. If we get that money, when we get that money, we have to have the priorities of, of making sure that our education is funded uh, and some of these infrastructure issues that we have. I think that's the real question. What do we do with that? Settlemeyer suggested not spending the money at all, if possible, saying the state cleaned out its rainy day fund during the 2020 special session, leaving them vulnerable. Are we going to be foolish and spend that money? Or are we going to try to replenish the rainy day fund? Heaven forbid... What if something else happens? Now, as legislators work on balancing that budget, Governor Steve Sislak says that he is working on a long-term plan to secure federal grants uh, from the government uh, long-term, even after the pandemic. Before the pandemic began, he said that we were ranked 47th in the nation for taking advantage of those federal grants. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News. And more